Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh and today we do have bags. The bags are back in town. Two of them actually. So very excited to have some bags. They're actually a bit bigger than they have been recently. So that's very exciting. Um, yes, I'm still recovering from a little cold. And yes, I'm filming this the same day as I filmed yesterday's video. You'll be okay, I'll be okay. And uh, we'll get into this bag. If you've never seen these videos before, uh, we buy rag bags from local thrift shops, like full of t-shirts and other cotton items, and open them and search them for vintage valuable t-shirts or just any sort of valuable t-shirts. We get it for like six bucks, so they're pretty cheap. Whoa! We already got our first vintage piece. We've got this uh, Champion Extra Large uh, MVCE or MVC Missouri Valley Conference Basketball. I'm not sure this is actually all that valuable per se, but it is a vintage champion piece, so that is dope. That may be a good sign as to what might else be in here. Um, but we open these bags up whenever we can get them. Um, sometimes they're really good to us, sometimes they're really bad to us, uh, but they are fun to open with you guys on the YouTube. Uh, lots of towels in this one, unfortunately. Looks like it may have combined a, a another bag with this one. I see something. Lots of rags. I never have like need of rags. These days. lots of this stuff. Goodness. Okay, so this is a true rag bag in some sense. No, nothing. But we are pushing towards uh, 1,000. I'm going to announce a giveaway now um, I haven't decided exactly what the item will be but we'll be doing a giveaway on one of either this week's or next week's videos um, just sort of depends yeah look there's a bag within a bag um so stay tuned for that you'll just have to probably like subscribe uh, comment on a particular video but I wanted to make sure the video was a video worth you know your time to actually click on and watch so um, Got some stuff coming up. What's this? We have vintage? No. No. Um, so yeah, watch out for that. We are getting closer and closer to a thousand, uh, which is exciting for us. Um, been uh, enjoying the growth and the opportunity. Come on, let's get some vintage. What the hell? Let's get some vintage T-shirts. And we've been hitting uh, we've been hitting the ground pretty hard um, with on the thrift side. I just hired um, another employee to handle listing or uh, good portions of listing. Look at this, uh, not vintage. So cool though, blood drive T-shirt. Um, and so that's making eBay very very interesting. Oh, this is cool. This is uh, this the Atticus Finch, Law Offices of Atticus Finch. Um, not vintage or anything, but uh, if you know, you know. Um, so that's been making business uh, sort of ramp up and need a bit more of my time. Um, so I've been training that employee. They are doing fantastic, making a big help and big change. Oh, I used to work there. <laughs> Um, a big change in our business so very excited about that uh, so far we are not getting anything outside that first t-shirt which is a bummer uh, let's see we've got two bags they are both sort of larger so that's good so we'll have we'll double our chances uh, let's see um, let's see what's going on in the eBay world anyone got anything going on in the eBay world a lot of blood drive t-shirts. Um, I don't know. eBay's been weird. The summer slowdown is definitely upon us. Um, we have really good weeks. I'll check out this Little Caesars tea. This is, you know, Pizza Genius. Uh, um, these are newer. Uh, but the summer slowdown is upon us. Definitely seeing a reduction in overall sales. Um, trying to combat that this year with um, like 
uh, higher volumes since eBay did this over this year, uh, over this last year, uh, bump the premium subscription uh, listings amount to 10,000 from 1,000. So that, you know, that means we can do quite a bit more second bag. So we've been really trying to fill that out. Um, I've been entertaining, you know, lower value, valued items because I know I can get them up and on the, the, the eBay much quicker now because of the new workflow we got. This is an older Gap t-shirt, but it's actually got some holes in it. So the bummer, that would have been kind of somewhat worth it. What do we have here? I heart my dog. Yes, a single stitch. No. Yes, you do. More towels. Woo, we got so many towels. What do we got here? We got an older uh, triple IT. Oh, but it's a 2006. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, this, what is this printed on? Tag is, uh, it's like a Old Navy, an older Old Navy. So old, old Navy. Um, oh, what's up, Alice in Wonderland, new school Alice in Wonderland. Uh, there are some really banging Al vintage Alice in Wonderland tees out there. Um, my buddy picked one up a while back. It's pretty freaking sick and quite valuable um, one of these days. I think I'm going to make a, I think I'm going to make a thrift store bucket list video soon. I've been thinking about it. Maybe that'll be the one that, uh, Satan is a nerd. Um, maybe that'll be the, the, you know, the video I want you guys to go watch. But I'm gonna put like 10 items that I wanna find. Um, not like by the time I die, even though that would be, you know. Oh, we got a vintage tea here. Earth Day, whoo! The Jimi Hendrix quote on it. 2004, it's just, ah, this is like so on the edge of vintage. I'm gonna keep it, because in like a year or two, it'll be in the vintage range. Um, it's a pretty cool tee. Um, love Earth Day tees, love the earth. Uh, but we're, I'll, I'm gonna make a bucket list video. Oh, that's cool. Uh, gorilla blue t-shirt, but it's not vintage. Um, of just like, items that I wanna find in the thrift. Like, uh, we got the Super Bowl. Packers, yeah. um, uh, items that I want to find in the thrift store. We got an older tee here on a champion tee, an older single stitch champion Missouri tee. So this is vintage. So the vintage champion has been the where it's at so far. This this go around. We have an older, an older like radio station tee. But back to the back to the uh, the bucket list tee. I'm gonna put a bunch of items that I've. That, that I could go even go buy like on eBay if I wanted, but I want to thrift them. Like I want to find them in the thrift. And I know that's like, that seems like real specific and that should be really hard and it probably will be. Um, Squiddo, does anyone have any idea? This is on a red bar anvil tag. I'm gonna hold on to it just in case. Um, yeah, so like, I don't know, I've been thinking, because there's been, there are things on my, like, internal, like, I'm always looking out for, that I've always wanted to find in the thrift store. Uh, some things I've found in the past, so I said I have to, like, find them again for, this, for the second time. Um, and I'll just make that list, and then see, we got a, I think it's somewhat older T, but, uh, oh, what do we have here? What's this? Stages, theater studies, reach for the stars on the Russell made in USA. This is vintage, but not very interesting. Um, so I'm gonna make the list, and then for the next year, we're gonna see, like, by next, this time next year, what of those items, or which of those items we actually have thrifted. Um, like, we'll just, we'll just mark them off the list whenever they get found, and we'll see by next year what we find. Um, the rest is, oh, we got one more tee here. That's a champion and it's just a normal champion. So it was just those two vintage champion tees. Unfortunately, that was about it. Um, they, you know, maybe we make our money back. Probably not, I imagine. Uh, but anyway, look out for that bucket, bucket list uh, video that'll be coming out soon. 
and we will see you guys on the next one. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.